Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may have lost their brand of authenticity through their recent, high-profile deals with big brands following their break from the royal family, claimed a royal expert. Picking up on ethics statement, which spoke of how the Sussexes were deeply committed to helping address the defining issues of our time, Ms. Elza denounced the partnership as headline-grabbing. She claimed, another headline-grabbing corporate union. Another press release touting the world-changing potency of the pairing of the Sussexes big ideals and some big company. Another promise that working with a billion-dollar behemoth will somehow make the world a better place. She criticized how this shtick is getting all a bit tired and with this latest deal stretches Bloor's ability to an emaciated thinness. She continued, for Harry and Meghan to choose socially responsible investing as their latest cause celebre makes perfect sense and it is genuinely a worthy issue to lend their weight to. She then questioned, but if they were solely motivated by a burning desire to bring this burgeoning field to the world's attention then why not pick a firm or platform but instead they decided to align themselves with a company run that was founded by three people, who are ex-Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs. This latest partnership follows Harry and Meghan stepping back as senior working members of the royal family last year, after which a number of high-profile deals hit the headlines with a Sussex name attached. Ms. Elsa claimed, it has now been 13 months since news of Harry and Meghan's partnership with Netflix, their first big deal, was revealed in September last year. It would prove to be only the first of many megawatt signings for Brand Sussex. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have since been linked to companies such as Spotify and publisher Penguin Random House. Ms. Elza, describing her skepticism at the motivations behind big-name deals like these, recounted how when each was announced, the world has been treated to another press release or interview, furiously trying to peddle the line that it is all part of some grand humanitarian vision. Of the Netflix deal, our focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope, they promised along with declaring they would be creating impactful content that unlocks action. She added, their Spotify podcasts, of which the world is yet to see anything beyond one episode, would build community through shared experiences, narratives and values. With an almost audible frustration, she said, but come on. Stop packaging everything as being about impact. TV shows, podcasts and getting a job with a Silicon Valley unicorn are not going to trigger a profound global reckoning or catalyze any sort of world-shaking changes. She implored her readers, where is the authenticity? It all feels so transparent, she stated in her concluding remarks. Daniela Elza, writing in the New Zealand Herald, blasted the announcement of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that they had become impact partners for New York investment firm, Ethic. Ethic is a Wall Street investment manager that looks towards social issues, such as climate change, gender equality and racial justice. Royal commentator Rachel Birchfield told Podcast Royal, as someone who admittedly, me personally, has too many jobs as a freelance writer, I know that when I am spread so thin like that, I feel unable to give my all to anything. Everyone gets 15% of me or 10%, so I hope that they, and this isn't a judgment call, aren't spreading themselves too thin because everybody in the world wants to work with Meghan and Harry. Everybody wants to work with them and there are a lot of attractive companies that fit their mission. I hope that they're being really selective about who they take on and not spreading themselves too thin. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced in a New York Times article that they were putting their values into action by becoming impact partners at the fintech company Ethic. The New York-based firm helps direct customers towards companies that treat people and the planet with respect, and has invested heavily in social media giants such as Facebook. Ethic currently has $6.9 million invested in Facebook shares, making it the company's 13th biggest investment and a $32 million stake in Alphabet the parent company of Google. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have previously been critical of social media platforms, criticizing their ability to spread misinformation and hate.